So, um, how do you, let's start off with UMass basketball first. Um, how do you expect the team to look this year, better or worse than they did last year? Hopefully better than last year. Um, we didn't make it too far in the, uh, um, the A-10 tournament, but we lost a couple key games. Uh, I think we should be better this year, though. We got a couple key additions, Derek Gordon and uh, Clyde Santi, I think. He's a freshman. I think he's going to have a good season. And Derek Gordon transferred from uh, Western Kentucky. Hmm. He's a better team than us, so he should be a good addition. Um, is Derek Gordon the player that you think will carry the team, or is there any other player that you think will? I'd say Chaz Williams will probably carry Chaz the team. Yeah. Uh, he's a, probably the leader of the team. He was last year, too. He's a senior point guard. Uh, I think he's expected to be one of the best players in the A-10. Uh, so do you think the team has a shot at making the NCAA March Madness tournament? Or? Yeah. Uh, this year I do. Oh, yeah. Last year I thought they were going to too, but a little disappointing, like I said before. Uh, I think this year they have a better shot. Um, so, how do you think the coach is doing thus far? Is there anything that you would do different if you were the coach, or do you? I don't, I don't know. No, I don't think so. No. I, mean, I think Derek Kellogg is doing a great job. Um, I'm sorry, what's his name? Derek Kellogg. Derek Kellogg. I think he's doing a good job. I wouldn't really change anything. Mm -hmm. I'd say uh, they look a little erratic at times. Erratic. Yeah. Just. Um, Make some stupid moves, some stupid plays as players, but I don't think that's anything the coach can really control. Right. Um, and has he been there a while? Or? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure how many years, but I know he's been here since before we got here. And what about you? How did you get into basketball? I started playing when I was very young. I uh, just like rec league in my hometown, and I fell in love with it ever since. If you could play one on one against any player, who would it be? On the team? No, like in general. Oh, just in general. Yeah. Um, I'd say Kevin Garnett. Any reason why? He's my favorite player growing up. I don't know. He just has a lot of passion for the game. Um, and then he became a Celtic, and then I really fell in love with him. <laughs> you like the Celtics? Oh, yeah. Big <laughs> Celtics fan. Do you have any funny or memorable moments during playing basketball? When I was little, I used any to play. Injuries? When I was younger, I might have played, uh, there was like a couple times, I like trip over the half court line timer. I mean, it wasn't, I actually didn't trip over, oh, no. I didn't fall on half court. But that was when I was really young. None of that anymore. No? Oh, that's all I have. Alright. <laughs>
But then I've been to other places, like I went to Rome, and it was really interesting just to see all the architecture and everything. So that was definitely more architecture, but other places it's definitely more of the nature. Um, so what are some of your favorite places to photograph? It's um, a difficult question. <laughs> uh, I really like the UK a lot. Like I love photographing London. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, recently I got to go to Hawaii this summer. And that was beautiful. I really liked it there. And it was really beautiful. So it's a difficult choice, but I'd say probably the UK overall. Um, so you go to, you, you travel, a lot more than I've traveled. Um, <laughs> when you do travel and when you do take your pictures, what is the, like, what's the, I guess, what's your, your goal with these pictures? Do you, are you looking to achieve something? Are you looking to send a message? Uh, it started out just kind of like a hobby, but recently I've been looking uh, to do more of a travel vlog in the future and start using it for more journalistic purposes instead of just merely how everything looks. And I haven't really done much of that yet, but my ultimate goal is to start a travel vlog, or actually it would be nice to be part of National Geographic one day mm -hmm. and uh, get to explore different places, and not just like big cities, but small towns. And Pretty much everywhere. So, yeah. um, do you use digital cameras or digital cameras? Uh, I've used both, but currently I only have digital cameras. I have a Canon uh, SLR that I really like, and I also have like a simple point and shoot that I like too. That's really from Canon. Now I've I've heard a lot of mixed things between you know people loving their fancy expensive SLRs and then people swearing by those point and shoots. <laughs> um, why do you take both? Uh, I'd say both with me, uh, just because uh, one of them, the point and shoot is like way smaller, and my SLR is actually pretty big because it's kind of old. But uh, the point and shoot's nice if you're taking more like informal pictures, like pictures of your family or friends. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. But the thing is, is like if you have a nice one, the pictures still come out really nice. But uh, professional one's good if you're uploading it to a website. Like I took photojournalism last year. And we needed to have an SLR because the quality is good because you're uploading them to websites like Picasa or Tumblr or whatever. So it just depends on what you're looking for. Do you enhance your pictures at all? Do you do anything to them in Photoshop or anything like that? Uh, I do use it every once in a while. I don't usually enhance them that much. I usually just play with contrast, or if there was something in the way, I'll crop it out. But that's pretty much the extent of ed at least my editing. Um, We're at four. This is Brittany. Um, she's with Intern Queen. Uh, so, can you tell me what exactly Intern Queen is? Yes. Um, Intern Queen is a corporation, basically. Um, Lauren Berger is the Intern Queen. She made this company because um, she did 15 internships in college. Oh. Wow. So, um, she basically is the Intern Queen. Of course. <laughs> um, but she like made a business out of it to help students find internships. Um, so she made a website, and there are a bunch of internship postings on it. And um, there's blogs that you can look for internship advice and um, other connections as well. So what she does is she goes around to schools as well, and she talks to students at um, colleges and talks about her brand and how internships are really important. Oh, okay, and yeah. now what do you do with the company? Do you blog for them? Yeah, um, I'm a Candace ambassador, oh, so okay. basically what I do is I promote her brand, mm -hmm. like that's part of it, and but I also um, I blog for her. Um, I get to pick my own topics on what I want to write about um, concerning internships, mm -hmm. and um, so I blog for her, I promote her brand. I Last year I had um, like a little dorm party where I like, oh, nice. <laughs> I, like brought all like the girls and um, some of the guys they like came together and I gave brownies and I like introduced them to intern because they didn't nice. know who she was. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. And so what are some of the things, have you written some pieces already? Yes I have. Good. I've written two pieces. One's called, um, one's about like, it's called Too Blessed to be Stressed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it basically explains how to um, be less stressed in the school year, gives like tips and like small, um, like some advice for college students, how not to get overwhelmed with all their work and internships. Um, 
And then another one I wrote is called um, The Importance of People's Perspective on You When You First Meet Them, like especially at an interview. Mm -hmm. um, so I wrote about how like body language and um, like what you say and how you act mm -hmm. is really important, especially when you're first meeting someone at an interview. And now you say you're a student ambassador. Are there other student ambassadors for you now? Um, there is one other girl okay. who is also an ambassador for her. I haven't met her yet, though. Okay. But um, I reached out to her, but she actually didn't, you know, she didn't respond. Oh, no. Um, Not a good ambassador, I guess. But um, So, Intern Queen makes me think that the company solely reaches out towards women. Does right. It, is, does it apply to men as well? Can well, ironically, um, there is a website called Intern King, well, yeah. but she <laughs> is not affiliated with it. Oh, I okay. think she, she was definitely first, but I think that whoever created Intern King like um, got the idea from her. Uh, but she does have um, boy ambassadors, mm -hmm. not as many um, boys as girls, but. Um, she does have guys that go to her website and um, do reach out to her. So oh, okay. it's definitely more um, girls than boys, but that's something we're trying to like incorporate. So. Oh, nice. And can students use this as a search engine to find internships? Is, is that how it works? Or? Yep, definitely. Um, you can go right onto the internship tab on the mm -hmm. website. Um, and it's basically a search tab. You okay. type in like your major, what you're interested in, and or where you want the internship to be, mm -hmm. and um, you search, and it'll pull up whatever you need. So nice. that's really cool. And have you done any internships through internship um, yet, or do you want I to? I have looked at some. Okay. She hasn't. She doesn't have many postings for Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Um, and it's a lot of like LA, like okay. um, and New York stuff. But um, so my internship, I did not that I have over the summer, I did not find through her. Okay. Um, but I have looked at her postings before. And All right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. shows and everything, did you do any outside of your mom's studio? Or? I didn't. I kind of wish I had, but I was always just so wrapped up in that. Like, that took up a ton of my time, but I didn't really have time to do anything else. And then once I got into high school, I did cheerleading instead. And then I went to a different studio junior year, and then just danced junior and senior year. So, but I kind of wish I had done shows other places. So how many shows did you actually do in your Did you have a favorite show that you 